we got lots of news that's happening over the last couple of weeks. We had uh, some vetoes and some wishful hopes for some things for those who want regulations and and all that kind of stuff. What what what's going on with that SAB one twenty one? What's what happened with that? Yeah, so um, that was a kind of a, the crypto, uh, you know, leaders, you know, both in, in, uh, in well, in Congress, really, uh, their crack at, you know, taking a, at trying to get crypto regulation, you know, outside of the SEC, uh, or at least get some clarity there, or have them not be so in control of it. It was vetoed. <laughs> it was, I mean, it was, it was shot down pretty by Biden. Biden was like, nah, I like the SEC the way it is. Let's not run into this, uh, rush into this. So, um, that's basically what happened. We can dive down a little bit more into it, but um, there was other hopes. There was that Fit 21 also, uh, which he said he wouldn't uh, veto. Uh, and I think that wasn't such a threat for uh, for the SEC. Um, and I think I, I don't think it was unexpected. It was just, you know. I think that's what it was. The SAB 121 was to hopefully um, give some guidelines for exchanges to help protect consumers, at least by showing how that they were safeguarding those assets, right? I mean, I don't, I don't think that's necessarily a negative. That could just be a standard business principle. If you take something in, in ownership, uh, in someone else, uh, um, there should be some sort of guideline for that. And, and banks have those kinds of guidelines too. So maybe not exactly the same, but uh -oh. that's how they can get their insurance at least, right? They have to prove certain securities and functions and those kinds of things. That's right. And apparently, apparently what was great is um, what actually was rejected by Biden, which is it was removing it from the control of the SEC. And yeah, it would have been great. But I think that in any case, it is still really nice to see that um, like the political field is actually interested and in looking a little more knowledgeable than they were in the last uh, regulations that they tried to pass. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, in reality, it's sad that it doesn't go through, but at least it is, is, a, it is a good news that uh, we can have things like that showing up <clears throat> and it might not pass this time, but at the end of the day, I, I'm pretty sure that we'll keep pushing and things similar to that will, uh, will be accepted. Yeah. I think, I think that's kind of the history of legislation in America that, you know, you keep doing it, you keep doing it. And, and finally, uh, you know, something happens. It's not a great process, right? Nothing. They, they stick stuff into, um, into other bills and so forth and things show up not clean uh but over time uh you know the 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 gov government historically government follows culture and i i think crypto is being more and more accepted i think we can see the expansion in the markets um and eventually we'll get there uh it's just frustrating because uh it's not that we want more regulation we just don't want the regulation that exists to prevent us from doing work or, you know, providing benefits or providing yeah. services. And that's a huge right now in America. Other countries have seemed to have figured this out, you know, in 15 years or however long it's been. Right. <laughs> like, um, but in America, we're still they're still making it very difficult. And I, I mentioned this. I think I've mentioned this previously. Mark, I like how Mark Cuban kind of pointed it out was like, you know, I want it, these companies, they're legitimate crypto companies. They're, you know, I, I can list off a few, you know, like, uh, I mean, Blockstream and Helium and all of these companies that want to do things and provide services that are blockchain based can't in America. It's very difficult. Um, it, it took years for strike to serve everyone in America. Um, and, uh, he's like, well, I want to invest in these companies and they can't do business here. So they create shell companies offshore or whatever. And he's like, I'm not touching those. Uh, and yeah. so there's no investment in America in crypto. Well, I can't say none, but it's, it's like the bar for just starting a business, a crypto business and providing services and following the normal kind of investment paths are, are very, uh, laced with friction at every step of the way. And that's just bad for America. And yeah, you know, Biden is currently participating in making it worse. Um, so 
we'll get there. I think, I think Neeks is right. I think we'll see that it, it improves with time. Um, and unfortunately the way it improves with time is not by loosening regulations. It's just by making it clear. Um, and that will be more regulations. Uh, hopefully those regulations will lift res the restrictions that we are implicitly getting by not having them. Um, it sucks. But yeah, I know, right. I know your that's position politically and, and, and yeah. fiscally when it comes to, let's say, it, from a capitalist point of view. And so I would yeah. agree with you. Less, less is better, but if you do have it, it should be at least minimalistic and direct so it's clear, right? And yeah. it shouldn't be crazy like that. Sorry, Neeks, go ahead. Uh, no, I was uh, actually going to say that um, there is still the Fit 21 that is uh, mm -hmm. supposed to be on, on route to uh, Senate, but actually we don't know, right? We don't know if yeah. it will um, even end there at some point. We do hope that, um, I think that, um, again, like we, we will see more, um, we will see more attempt to pass regulations like that. Uh, it's not because this one didn't pass that um, it is it is the end. It is, again, actually, I think it's a good news. It, it's not as good as it could be, but yeah. we're kind of moving in the right direction anyway. And I agree. Fit 21 is, I think it's in many ways, it's complementary. They kind of do work together in some respects. Both of those, the SAB 121 and the Fit 21, though they're looking at separate things, they do work together, I think, if they're just basic guidelines for exchanges um, and clarity for exchanges. My opinion is, is that it's a good thing all around, right? So. Well, it's all acts towards normalization, right? I mean, yeah. like as it, all of the, you know, it gets discussed, it shows up in news, uh, all of that acts towards normalization. People, mm -hmm. I think, in fact, most people still think crypto is weird and fake money and, you know, nerd stuff I, like I, I, or, or grifting stuff. And while there's elements of that in crypto and almost every other market, uh, <laughs> um, I, I think just it becoming normalized is 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 uh, is just part of this path or this is this is part of the path of becoming normalized. So, yeah. You know, I, I think of it good in that way, bad in other ways, but, you know, just another step. <laughs> another right. step in, we in talked about that in other topics, but th yeah. there is like, ideally, we could do those things and we wouldn't have to bother with all those regulations. But in the world we are today, the whole economy right. is actually relying on stable regulation. They are expecting regulation. And now if you don't have them, then... Yeah most of the economy is just not going to interact with yep. this part of the new economy, right? So having regulations is, is definitely something that, <laughs> despite not being really happy to be regulated yeah. and to have the government uh, setting how we should uh, use assets or things like that, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, if we want companies to use it, <clears throat> If we want institutions to use it, there needs to be mm -hmm. uh, some regulations that are reliable. Yep. Yeah, nobody wants to do something and then have somebody else come back, let's say the government, and say, oh, you're wrong. Yeah. You, yeah. you got to pay us. Well, and, <laughs> and, you know, and people suffered for that. Yeah.